Okay guys, we are here at the field and we got the X29. And what's cool about the X29 today is the fact that it has activated canards. So you can see we got activated canards here. Um, and we so we have six control surfaces. I have the two four by four control surfaces mirrored um, in the back, and then I got the uh, the canards on the front um, doing its thing with the uh, with the pitch with the pitch axis only. So and you can see we have wind. So we got uh, I believe it's like 14, 12 mile an hour gusts, and so the canards are a little bit of an unknown because we have the CG right here the cg goes through the canard the center of the canard basically so i'm assuming that the pitch that the canard is going to be opposite in the case of the x29 so um i'm just gonna hope and pray that my theory is right because if if a control service is in front of the cg it's opposite so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna just throw this up and uh hope and pray and uh and let's see if we're good to go there um i have very limited time i'm gonna try and keep this video under 12 minutes uh or 15 minutes because i gotta leave i gotta go back to work so uh all righty let's throw this guy up. let's go uh all right wait for a little bit of wind and let's get into flight hopefully oh. Oh. okay <laughs> so the canards they definitely got the uh the plane going there all right um so let's figure this out. It is tracking straight. Um, where are we with CG? We're very touchy, very touchy. Uh, but man, is this thing maneuverable. Um, it's still climbing. So the CG is definitely back. Uh, all right, CG for sure needs to be adjusted. So, um, okay. So I gotta bring the CG forward a little because it definitely nosed up. Um, I'm actually gonna try to bring it in. That was a rough landing. All right. Um, okay. So CG, I definitely want it forward a little bit and I need to bring the pitch sensitivity down because it was out of control. All right. So CG is now forward a bit. Um, let's see if that is better. Yeah. Okay. So the CG is definitely better there. Um, okay, pitch sensitivity. Uh, aileron can definitely go down a little. Uh, I want elevator. I want less elevator. And I want a little expo on the elevator now. Okay, so that's right where I was. A little bit forward of it. Well, I'm glad that the um, I'm glad that the canard direction is correct here. That makes me happy. That even though it's close to the CG, it's still good to go in terms of uh, uh, control control throw. All right, ready? Let's throw this again. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm more comfortable. Yeah, now when I'm off stick, it just wants to fly straight. Okay. So now... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It turns on a dime now. Yep. It didn't want to turn. 
very well before. Oh, it's so perfect now. Okay, so the little blue marks on the wings are exactly where the CG is. Oh yeah, dead straight, look at this. Oh, so good. Here's dead straight, off stick. Look at that. So cool. That's, that's off throttle. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm more comfortable. Now I'm more comfortable. I noticed that whenever I rewatch my videos, um, I really prefer it when I stay in the airshow box because these are little 50 millimeters and I, and the best I can do guys, I have the literally the best head mounted uh, camera system with this Insta360 Ace. So I'm just gonna try and keep it in here. But um, forward swipe wings, all, they're, they're very maneuverable and they rip around really good. Um, they have really good uh, response and everything and they're, they track really nice. Um, but when you, when you can't fly it like a Delta, where it won't just drop the nose down a little bit and you can kind of stay in that like, um, in that like high alpha, you can kind of just like do a wheelie basically and, and do 360s with a, with a Delta. And with this guy, um, it's, it's the best forward swept wing uh, I've ever flown in terms of like its uh, aerobatic ability and the tracking and stuff like that. Like my Delta Dagger, or I'm sorry, my Dagger 1 is more stable, but this has more um, pitch authority at slow speed. What a great plane. Half, half throttle. It's half throttle. Yep, got a gust of wind right there. Let's roll it. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring this in. Bring it in here. Much better, see? When, when you have the CG right, the landings are gonna be butter. Um, it's gonna land gentle. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, I think I wanna make this in a 64, because um, it's got such a lightweight airframe. I think a nice, uh, a 4S64 um, might be a happy spot with this, because um, in terms of like control throw and stuff like that, um, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna scale this guy up and do it and do a 64. Uh, then I can get some nine gram servos on the uh, on the canards and. Uh, but anyway, uh, super cool, super cool. I hope you guys like the video, and I'm gonna keep putting out videos on this X29, and uh, I will uh, I will see you guys soon.